Welcome to Irons United. And of course, we bring you news of the first uh, transfer in this uh, January transfer window. And of course, as we've all heard, Darren Randolph is uh, back uh, at West Ham for his second spell. Um, for four million pounds, he comes in as um, Fabianski's number two. Um, I guess four million pounds is not a bad price to pay for uh, a half decent keeper. Uh, the, but I think uh, a lot of the fans are going to be split over whether this is actually uh, a good signing or not. I think only time will tell. So let's uh, talk a little bit about Randolph. He started his senior career at Charlton um, between 2004. He was there between 2004 and 2010. But he only made 14 appearances for Charlton before going out on loan to Welling United, Accrington Stanley, Gillingham, Bury, and Hereford United. So in the six years that he was there, he only played for them 14 times. He then moved in 2010 to Motherwell and made 111 appearances for them over a three-year period. And then he moved to Birmingham, making 91 appearances um, over two years. And then, of course, he came to West Ham uh, initially as Adrian's number two. Um, in his first spell at West Ham between 2015 and 2017, he played 22 times for West Ham, making, uh, uh, f getting four clean sheets, uh, conceding 35 goals, which is roughly about a, a, uh, one and a half goals a game. And of those 35 goals, five of those were goalie errors. And it's interesting, in his last season there, he, played, uh, um, he, he kept switching the number one uh, slot with Adrian. Adrian would make a mistake, so he'd be dropped and then... For, um, uh, Randolph will come in and then Randolph will make a mistake and then Adrian will come back in and it kept going like that throughout the whole of that last season uh, for Randolph. In 2017 we sold him to Middlesbrough for around about £5 million. Now he's made in total 108 appearances for Middlesbrough, uh, keeping 38 clean sheets which is pretty impressive uh, and conceded about 104 goals which is roughly a goal a game. Now, he moved to Middlesbrough um, and established, established himself as the number one there. Um, Middlesbrough are currently, currently 16th in the league, where Randolph has, been, uh, appearing, uh, has appeared 14 times this season. But he's missed the last 13-odd games due to injury. And ironically, the injury that he's got is not too dissimilar to the one that uh, Fabianski uh, has been having. Um, that makes it an interesting proposition to buy him. You know, one, one would ask, if we know that he's got an injury and he failed his first medical at West Ham, why have West Ham um, uh, continued with, the per with, with uh, wanting to buy him? Um, now, there's no denying that he's had a pretty successful time at Middlesbrough. In his first season, uh, he got the team, he helped his team get to the playoffs. Uh, but they just didn't make, uh, just didn't get uh, past the uh, winning the playoffs in order to get into the Premier League. Last season, uh, Middlesbrough finished just outside the playoffs by a point. Um, so he's become a decent keeper. He's become more matured. But I think the question really is, uh, how much of a risk is it going, going to be, knowing that Fabianski has broken down again because of the injury that he's had? How much is it, is it going to be a risk um, to have um, Randolph in with the same type of injury? Now, we've got the game on against Everton on Saturday. We have absolutely no idea if uh, Randolph will be fit for that. He was included in the squad uh, to play against uh, Spurs in the FA Cup replay the other day. Um, so one guess is that he probably is fit. Um, but he's been out for so long, is he match fit? Now... People will argue a goalie doesn't have to be the same sort of match fit as an outfield player. I would sort of say that's not relatively true because you still got to get up to speed with what's going on. You still got to get uh, the whole, you know, he needs to understand who the team are, who his defenders are and so on. So I actually would be really surprised if he actually made the first 11 on Saturday. Uh, but I do kind of expect him to be on the bench. Um, he's represented the Republic of Ireland uh, from under-17s onwards, and he's made 42 senior appearances for them. So he's a, he's a, he's a decent keeper. Um, I've, 
you know, I, I think for me, I, 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 I've, I didn't really rate Randolph the first time around at West Ham. Um, I always thought um, Adrian was the better keeper, but even Adrian wasn't that good, was he, at times, you know, with, with all the mistakes that he used to make. Um, but I think I just, maybe for his character, maybe, I don't know, maybe, I just preferred Adrian. Um, but I do, you know, Randolph, he's a couple of years older, a couple of years more experienced. Um, it's not easy keeping clean sheets in the championship. It's a much harder league in some, in some ways than the Premier League. And keeping the number of clean sheets that he has is, is, not, is no bad, bad thing. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I guess we're, all of us at West Ham at the moment are just sort of wondering where's the where's the next step up you know as we've been kind of promised and uh is Randolph the next step up or is he a step backwards I think the fans are going to be split so all I all I can do is he's a West Ham player now again we wish him well you know uh if and when he does come into the first team you know let's hope he does really well let's hope he continues with the clean sheets it's all we can ask for um, but like I say, I don't think he'll be in the first 11 on Saturday, but he'll certainly be on the bench.